Last time we talked about computing the mean, median, mode, or computing the measures of central tendency of a given set. And the mean that we have computed last time can also be termed as our arithmetic mean. Arithmetic mean. And there are three types of mean. And those are arithmetic mean. We also have geometric mean. And we have the harmonic mean. So the arithmetic mean is simply by doing our computations. Last time, we add all the numbers in the given set and divide it by the total number of data. So let me give you another example. So if the set has the numbers 1, 2, and 3, and we need to compute for these three types of mean, the arithmetic mean would be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3, since there are three numbers in a given set. So 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So this is our arithmetic mean. Now to compute for the harmonic mean, we just need to flip our computations for arithmetic mean. So our denominator becomes our numerator. So that would be 3 divided by our numerator. But our values for the numerator would also need to be flipped. So it would be 1 over 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. And at the end, this equation would give us an answer of 3 divided by, let me compute it first. So at the end, my answer resulted to 1.64. So this is the result of my computations. For geometric mean, we need to multiply these numbers. So that would be 1 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. And after multiplying them all, we need to get the root depending on the number of data. So since there are three numbers in this given set, we need to find the cube root of this given set. So 1 times 2 times 3. 1 times 2 times 3. And getting the cube root of that would give us a result of 1.82. So these are the three types of mean. Again, arithmetic mean is simply the average. So it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 divided by 3. For geometric mean, we need to multiply all the numbers and get the root according to the number of data. And for harmonic mean, we just need to flip our computations for arithmetic mean. So if you have questions, comment them below.